What's up guys, it's me from Project Furia today. We have a 2015 gaming setup slash media setup slash office or whatever whatever name you want to call it. So um, yeah, it has changed a substantial amount since the October one. Got some new, new piece of kit. As you can see, we've got a new um, gaming laptop over here. Yeah, and I got rid of my dual monitor bracket. I'll tell you that why later in this video. So let's start off. Right, so here's my door. Uh, I got rid of the syndicate post, I put it somewhere else. And it says keep out 110% beam at work. Got this from 110 gaming. Yeah, but I actually got this in a magazine at a UK game store. And then I decided, you know what, let's put this on my door. Yeah, so it looks pretty sick. I got a, I don't know if you can see it. There's Spirit of Gamer. I got that. My headset, I just stuck that on there. So let's move on. So, the right side of the room, we have my Destiny poster alongside of the Naruto, Naruto Shippuden poster that I got from Eurogamer. And Destiny, Destiny one's turned over onto the other side. Then to the main side where I started this video off, I have the Beast custom made logo with the Halo poster and my new laptop, this is the Toshiba. I don't know the name actually, <laughs> I think it's the Toshiba 1B1P1 or something, I'll leave the, the link to this PC in the description below. Sitting on it is uh, an orange sticker is sitting on the glossy part of the laptop with the Core i5 Radeon Graphics Energy Star and this actually has skull candy um, speakers yeah you can see the keyboard So as you can see I have two graphics ports currently connected to my um, external dual monitors. So here's my first one, the primary, my secondary monitor, my third. So this one's the Toshiba inbuilt laptop one, 50.6, 1366 by 768. Then we have my AOC, AOC monitor. 22 inch 1920 by 1080 and then over here my 17 inch Fujitsu Semens 1280 by 1024 this one has a 2 millisecond response time this has 5 yeah so sitting on my left side is my Azatom home hub system speaker remote which is sitting right there at the moment let me get yeah the base is amazing, two port base system. And behind this monitor, if I just move it away, you have my wireless access point, secondary router, my USB 3.0, 500 GB um, external hard drive, my Raspberry Pi currently connected to my home network. And it's set up to be, um, be a um, NAS, 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 what's it called? Yeah, NAS drive server and a via VPN, sorry, yeah VPN, so I can download torrents directly to my home network from anywhere in the world, then um, I can access it when I get home, so for example if I'm somewhere out and about, I see a film in Blockbuster and I don't want to pay for it, I just um, log on to my VPN, download it. Yeah, I can access my VPN. From my phone, then download a torrent to my 
client, then it'll be downloaded by the time I get home because of my super fast internet fiber optic. Not really. Not. First addition to the setup, we have my SOG Spirit of Gaming PC headset with the inbuilt microphone, surround sound enabled, and we have a PS3 remote and Rubik's Cube. We have just a simple non HD webcam, my Lenovo keyboard, and my my Red Dragon Lava Wolf gaming mouse in red, red LED mode. This is the camera I'm using a Canon EOS 650D DLSR, uh, DSLR, I can never say it. Yep, it's discontinued as you can see. I'm using a 120mm lens on it. Yep, so. Yeah, I don't think they sell it anymore. Yeah, the new versions are 700D, 750 I think. Yeah, here we go. The 700D. I'm trying, I can't click, I'm trying to do it with left hand. Yep, so this is it. Right, sorry guys, it's me. And this is the second part of the video. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you my media server. Or my HTPC. So, on this table, we have a wireless keyboard. A TV remote. System sound remote and the PlayStation 3 controller. And above me, in front of me, is my 42 inch TV with speakers on the right and DVD drive on the left. Sitting over there is my HTPC server with Ethernet connection directly to the router. So here's my Plex coming from the PC which is mapped to a network drive on my Raspberry Pi so it receives all its media from it and then you can watch and stuff yeah I configured it so it boots on um, startup so let's go to movies let me just enter and we can browse through all the films and just zoom in. Yeah, I got quite a lot. I just use the keyboard to go through them. And for example, if you want to watch a film, so let's Red Dawn, just tap enter. 
then it comes up with some details and you can play it straight from there. And the same thing with the TV shows. You can watch Big Bang Theory. And it just plays the theme song as well. Theme tune. And it goes back and then you can act actually if you press the left arrow it comes up with another bar you can sleep shut down quit different preferences all right let's let's just i need to do, do something i actually need to configure a setting some video settings I need to change 4, 3 to stretch 60, 90. Actually, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change it to normal. Yep, and so you can do stuff. And then on my keyboard over here. I just moved that. If I press the button on the right of the keyboard, or the right of the windows, this one goes into goes into this mode non full screen and you just press again to go back to full screen and then you can use the PC as normal and you got it on a Windows classic theme so I get more CPU usage or while watching films yep so that's my um, Plex tour the second part of the video and yeah so hope you enjoy this video uh, make sure you leave a comment below subscribe like and stay tuned peace